Okay, problem two from chapter 11 of the McMurray 7th edition textbook. We are asked to draw this SN2 reaction, and we don't really know how to draw R2-bromobutane maybe at first, so what I'd like to do is uh, just take a stab at it. Just draw out those four carbons and um, just guess, okay? Maybe, maybe at the carbon two, the uh, bromo group is coming forward and the hydrogen's going back. And if I make a mistake, I'll just switch the bromine and the hydrogen here. So let's prioritize the groups. Uh, hydrogen's pretty light. Bromine is massive. Uh, because carbon-3 is connected to more carbons, that's priority 2. And this one here is 3. So when I uh, drive the car and look to see which way this goes, it looks like clockwise, which is R. And hey, that's what they wanted, so that's good. Now, when I react this with hydroxide, what happens? Well, the hydroxide, remember, attacks from the opposite side as the leaving group. So this is going to kind of come in from the back side of the molecule and hit this carbon-2. And then this bromine is going to fly towards us in dramatic three-dimensional space. And what we're going to get as a result of that is inversion of configuration at carbon-2. The hydroxide is going to be attached to this molecule from the back side, and the hydrogen in the process gets flipped around, okay, it gets inverted like so. So that's going to be the S molecule. And of course we have bromide, which is the uh, leaving group there, okay? So that's how you do this problem here. Thanks for watching.